My research is in the field of structural engineering. My interests include sustainable and high-performance materials, hybrid structures utilizing different materials, such as seawater and sea sand concrete, fiber and force polymers, and stainless steel. I have led research into ultra-high strength steel, and the use of such steel can produce lighter and stronger structures, leading to less energy consumption in transportation and lifting equipment. I have also spearheaded research into low-carbon seawater seas and concrete with supplementary cementitious materials to replace concrete. My team made significant breakthroughs in increasing the durability of such ultra-high-performance concrete. My team has made significant contributions to understanding the behavior of steel structures and concrete-filled tubular structures under various conditions, including static, and blast loading, fire, earthquake, and fatigue. My research achievements have been incorporated into the standards in Australia and America, Eurocode and ISO standards. I chaired a technical committee of the International Institute of Welding and produced two ISO standards and four international design guides which are widely used by engineers around the world. My sustained international leadership in the development and the construction of steel and hybrid tubular structures have earned me the prestigious Thomas Medal from the International Institute of Welding. I recently received the Hongbao Research Award from the Alexander von Hongbao Foundation, which is awarded to international renowned academics whose research has made a significant impact in their own discipline and beyond. My career has focused on improving the resilience and safety of engineered structures and the sustainability of the construction sector. Our research findings on the strengthening of metallic structures using carbon fiber reinforced polymers have been adopted by industry to strengthen historical bridges such as Diamond Creek Bridge in Australia, built in 1896. After joining PolyU in 2022, I have been driving initiatives to develop floating structure solutions for innovative land creation and floating farms for food security and sustainability. I'm leading research into a sustainable and smart floating structure solution. The long-term goal is to make it a popular option for creating land space and a powerful policy tool for relieving the land shortage problem through the active involvement of the international research community on floating structures. This will provide living space, food, energy, and disaster relief shelter in coastal cities that are vulnerable to rising sea levels due to climate change. 